Hey guys, today we are going to be continuing the Pokemon series. And we have chosen a fire type this time. We are making Cyndaquil from Pokemon Gold and Silver. Two amazing games that came out in 1999. I looked up that date today because I couldn't remember exactly when they came out. I thought they were early 2000s, but they were before 2000s. And I remember getting them. Wow. Kind of old. Oh well. Oh well, I really enjoyed these games. Um, and this guy was actually my first starter for Pokemon Gold and Silver. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, I did say that I preferred grass types because Bulbasaur is adorable. And yes, I do usually go for grass types. But come on, look at this guy. Look at him. He is a mix between a mouse, an anteater, and fire. He's got fire coming out of his back. Like, how do, you, how do you say no to this guy? Although, I will admit that throughout all of Pokemon Gold and Silver, it was so hard to choose a, a favorite starter because all of them are great. They got great designs, They're, they each have their perks, uh, their evolutions are, are just awesome. As you can tell, I, I really love Pokemon Gold and Silver. Really did. So did. Anyway, anyway, um, we are making him out of Super Sculpty. We will be painting him later on. And now his body does look awfully big right now compared to his small foot. Well, foot and leg. Um, but the thing is, is that I just did a basic shape for his body. I didn't really think about how big I was going to make him. I, I figured I wanted to make him bigger, but if you look at Cyndaquil, he's a rather small Pokemon. And I decided to make the leg and then base the size of his leg, uh, use that as a measurement for the rest of his body. So as you can see, I trimmed a lot of that off and just smoothed it out. That's the nice thing about Super Sculpty original is that you can, you can, you can smooth it. It's just... It doesn't need a lot of work to get it into any shape you want, even after you cut something, if you make a mistake, it's it's fine. So here we're applying the second leg, which we will also be trimming down a bit. And there is quite a bit of trimming going on in the earlier stages of, of this, but, but then it gets, it gets pretty easy. I mean, I'm still, I'm still learning, so. We'll, we'll see how the rest of this goes. And now we're gonna cut off a bit of his foot because I do want him standing evenly. I don't want him to be leaning more to one side than to the other. I don't want him lopsided on any sort of way. And now I... There is this thing later on where I decided to add a little pouch for his stomach. Now I don't know if he actually has a little pouch of his stomach, but I figured because he's based off of a mouse, they do have little pouches where their stomachs are. Um, it's it's extra skin and fur and all that stuff, and I figured that Cyndaquil would probably have that too. He'd have, and you know, babies kind of have that. They have that extra little tummy fat, but as they grow, it, it disappears, and that too is the case in Cyndaquil. It, I mean, have you seen his final evolution? It, the dude turns massive. Just massive. Now, to make sure that his pouch doesn't look so obvious, I decided to add a bit more to his body and then smooth that out. And I thought, I thought it worked actually really well, and I know you're thinking that, oh, the top of this is actually too big, but that's okay. We're going to trim that off and then we're going to smooth it. And now we're going to be making his arms. He's got, he's got these cute little baby arms. They're not as tiny as a T-Rex. So remember that. <laughs> now I was thinking of having him hold something, but I, I decided not to. Maybe next time. I don't know. We'll see. we'll see. And we'll just attach his arms like so. We can we'll blend out those edges. Still give it a 
bit of area because he doesn't really have obvious shoulders. It, it's a very simple body that he has, and his his head is is basically just a round head. Just do a round ball and roll out some clay for his nose. Now, don't make it too long because that that's just gonna look awkward. Because as you can see, I made it too long, and look at that. That's just oh no, that's bad. <laughs> so we're gonna cut a piece off. And then we're going to attach it and we're going to smooth out those edges. Don't, don't worry if, if you make a mistake while making this, it's, a, it's okay. You can always pause, take a breath, you know, redo it. I actually restarted the head twice. So, yeah. Because it kind of, the first time I did the head, it looked weird. And I think the nose was too big and too skinny. I definitely made the nose too skinny. So anyway, here here we're we're getting rid of some of those edges and we're bulking the nose a bit more because we don't want it to be too thin because he's not a bird and it's not a beak. So this this is a snout and his his mouth sort of sort of his mouth is down below. I I don't know the anatomy of Pokemon. I I don't know what thought process goes into the creation of these Pokemon. I should make them out of clay. We're gonna smooth that out. And then we're gonna make sure that the bottom is a bit more flat. See? See, he kind of looks like this weird penguin. Now, here are the flames. Um, the flames could have been made so that they're sticking out of his back, but I found that. Uh, well, I didn't want to risk the fact of his flames like falling over, so I decided to make them flat. Now we're going to take all that, we're going to bake it in the oven, and you can see that I trimmed the flames a bit and made them smaller. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be gluing them onto the back of him. Now for a base coat, I used white. I could have used gray. Maybe next time I'll try gray. Because I've tried a white base coat a few times now, so I think next time I'm going to try a different color as a base coat. Now, not all of him is this cream color, do remember that, but most of him is, is a cream color. So we're just going to paint. Now I did add two layers for... For basically everything that I painted, I, I added two layers because I noticed that the first time I applied it, it was a bit thin. I mean, you don't have to add two layers. You can if you want to. You can, you can add more. You can add three layers. It depends on how vibrant you want the colors to be. I did two layers and I thought that turned out really, really well. Um, and also, when you're doing the flames, you can do the flames any way you want. I mean, if you want them to be this spiky thing that you usually see on his his retro look or in the anime, you can, you can do that. I tried to make mine a bit more alive, I guess you could say. And I mean, that was just the style I went for. Um, I could have done the spiky stuff, but I, I felt like it wouldn't work with his overall design. And and when you see the flames attached to his back, I, I think they look they look pretty cool. Like they look like they could burn you. Now here we're adding the nice little teal color. Luckily I didn't have to mix this teal color. I, I found a color that was like spot on to what Cyndaquil's fur is and I thought that was that was so great. Now we're gonna be doing the eyes, the nose, and his mouth. Then we are going to be coloring his nails. Which which I couldn't decide on whether I should make the nails a white or a grey. I could have done silver too, but I settled on white just to be on the safe side. 
and I can't remember if those nails stay as he evolves or if they disappear in the next evolution. I cannot remember. I'm gonna have to replay these games. Anyway, um, here we're making the flames. Yes, all of them are individually painted. Uh, I have no idea how to paint flames. So I just, I just tried to get the three basic colors in that are done with fire, which was yellow, orange, and, and red. I, I think it turned out pretty well. You know, first time painting flames. It, lo it looks good. It looks decent. And it, it works for the Pokemon. Because, I mean, his flames aren't exactly blended. They basically just go yellow and then red. If you look at them. So, yeah, let's let's quickly color all of that. Which, which one was your favorite? If you guys played Pokemon Gold and Silver, which starter was your absolute favorite? You know, you should let me know down below in the comments. Just don't start any Pokemon Wars because all of these are great Pokemon. Whether you like the grass type, the fire type, the water type, it does not matter. You can love every single Pokemon you want. So anyway, here we're adding the red and it, and I apologize for having it go a bit out of frame. Um, apparently, I didn't notice that. My mistake. I will try to keep it more center next time. So yes, and also when you're painting the flames don't forget to do the other side because it would be really awkward just to have one side painted of the flames and then have the other side just be white. That'd be really weird. So we're almost done with the flames. I, I think they're looking pretty cool. Yeah, they look like flames. I mean the shapes are pretty cool and, and the paint adds to it and says that ooh, this is fire all right so now we're gonna glue them on we have the biggest piece that we're gonna put down in the center and the other pieces are just randomly put along his body so it's it's three on each side and in the middle it's the biggest piece and after the gluing process we well he's not quite done i made this little base for him it's on a pokeball so that's cool. We're gonna glue him to the base and then we're gonna glaze him. We're gonna give him this nice and shiny effect. With that and it seals the clay so that if you drop it, the clay is not gonna crack as easily. So that's pretty cool. Because I do have a tendency to knock things over. I mean, not right away, but after a while. And I would hate for this guy to break. But anyway, so we're going to glaze them. We're going to let that rest for 24 hours. And guess what? We are done. There you go. There's Pokemon number 155, Cyndaquil. Oh, 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 we're being interrupted. No, no. My cat might eat him. Uh-oh. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.